All right, y'all believe what I'm gonna bring to y'all today? This here is my uh, Genera Motors AC uh, powered mode right here. And what ended up happening is I got Archimedes in my wrist real bad when I get on that slap of lawnmower and have all them vibrations on it and then mess around and juggle all my joints. I wanted out there to the orthodontist this morning. I had to get my eyes checked. He printed me off a brand new subscription. So now all my lines gonna be straight when I'm going off through them. Now you're gonna notice on this module here, you're not gonna have no four in one cycle mix, no big old uh, gallium judge or uh, ferrule and all that, no air filter, no ferrule filter. All you gotta do is plug in 120 volts, this thing ain't gonna spool up on you. All right, so all what you gotta do is you gotta have an extension card. You gotta come over here, lick up on this. I got to be careful being over like this because I got uh, permanent disintegration in my back. And then you're going to come over here with your extension card. And I got a lot of roots and stuff like that I got to uh, I got to deal with today. So if you're trying to get a lot of power out of this thing, if you're trying to really do that power up, what you're going to do is you're going to put your little diabolical grease. You're going to take a little smear of diabolical grease and put on there like that. And then put on that other side. All right, then take your arm plunge. Take your arm plunge like this and ow! All right, now that you got that thing plugged in, sometimes you'll notice it'll be a little spot when you put it together. But uh, this thing is good if you get iron curtain drunk like cutting your yard at 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, y'all listen to it. Silent. <laughs> Silent. <laughs> Mr. Ozell, how long will that thing run for? You said what? How long will it run for? Oh, this you talking about this unit here? This thing will run till you quit paying your electric bill, you know that? Mr. Ozell, what's the best way to mow if you have a dog? Oh, the best way, uh, what you're going to do is, if you got a dog, a rat well, or a Dogleman pincher, or a shower, or something like that, you're going to want to stay completely behind the unit. That way you will merch up all that dog doo and won't uh, mash it down on the bottom of your shoe. This thing was built back in the 1960s, and you know everybody that had one of these things. Folks thought they was in the Jetsons family, out there living in a glass tube, wearing a Mylonius 4 hat. If your children were mowing the yard one of these, wasn't nobody sitting with them at the lunch table. Uh, people that used one of these in the 1960s, that's everybody at the whole high school. That's who they put budget gum in their hair and shoot out spitballs at them. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I can't really sit out here and talk about nobody because I was an oddball ass kid myself. I was always wearing turquoise and maroon color clothes and I was sat out by myself and the women didn't know how to take me. I said, take me like a suppository. <laughs> The wear out done changed because when I was growing up, we would mow the grass, wash the car, and clean the house for $20. And that was enough money for a quarter tank of gas, a blunt, and two bad bitches. We would load up in the back seat of a Monte Carlo, go park under the bridge, get towed up as a snake in a lawnmower blade, spray paint our name everywhere, and practice having kids. <laughs> that was a good day. Now. That was a good. That's when we were doing something then. Everything I own, I stay in the back bedroom of my mama's house. Everything I own fit in a Prince Albert cigar box. And I was living, baby. That's what I was living now. <laughs> enough, enough of the... <clears throat> shut up. No, you shut up. All right, let's fire this thing up and make tall grass short. Y'all ready? Yeah, go come down here and mash this button down. Ooh. Uh, she ready now, yeah, you gotta prime it up. Then what you wanna make sure, you wanna make sure when you come down here and you hold your groin. Cause if you don't hold your groin, you you have been struck by lightning. <laughs> Everybody gonna be like, and then you gonna, you gonna hands off through that, just like that. You gonna hands off through that. Oh yeah. Them women gonna love it too, baby. Them women gonna love it. All right, that's been my little tutorial on how to use the uh, electric lawnmower. Y'all go home, mow the grass, wash the car, clean up the living room so you can bring your older woman to the house and wear out. <laughs> Happy Friday, baby.